Hi guys, it's me Ty and I'm back with another unboxing. Of course I was going to do this one. What else? Here I have Nendoroid number 524 Umaru from the new anime series based off the four panel comic Himoto Imaru-chan. And for those of you who are not familiar with that um, series, uh, Umaru is basically like she's like a high schooler who's like tall, pretty, popular, most perfect girl during the day never does anything wrong but at night when she gets home with her brother she's just a lazy bum slacker who just plays games and eats snacks so yeah it's a really funny show you guys should check it out so like most people um who pre-ordered this Nendoroid I only knew the bare minimum about the character before I pre-ordered uh, however she was too cute to resist and I'm so glad I purchased her when I did because this one kept selling out from different um, sites who had her up for pre-order uh, I know a lot of people had trouble with it and in fact so many people ordered this one that it got delayed for an extra month while they had to make more and not only that once it finally did come out as it just was in my um, September 2015 haul uh, it went right back up for re-release like days after so yeah a really popular character especially now that the anime is out everyone's really hyped up about it and who can blame them have you seen her look at this face She's adorable, really cute, even though the character is really a brat. But yeah, so here she is. As you can see, she has her little um, bear hoodie on. I forgot what it's called. And this is her chibi form. This is what she looks like, Umaru looks like once she gets home. Like I said, during the day, she's tall, beautiful, slender. But when she gets home, she kind of like drops down into this little chibi character with her little bear blanket. So yeah, and you can see she comes with a ton of little extra accessory pieces to fit her character, as well as a few extra face plates. So again, here she is from the front, holding a bag of chips. And here she is from the side, and as you can see here, she comes with a little PSP to play because basically when she gets home, that's all she does. Eat snacks, play video games, watch TV, and yeah, do all the stuff she really shouldn't be doing. But yep. Here she is from the back, which just looks like a cute little blob with bear ears on it. It's really, really cute. Here she is from this side with a nice, happy, smiling face. But here she is at the bottom doing one of her infamous tantrums whenever her older brother doesn't do something for her. <laughs> She's hilarious. And here's the top, again, with her favorite snacks and her favorite cola. And the bottom, looking devious. Yeah, she looks like that a lot in the series. Finally, here we have her on the back, and you just see a few more of her snacks spread out. Again, guys, even on the box, she's just too cute for words. So yeah, let's get into it. I'm um, already kind of slit the plastic to make. It Next up, easy. we have the usual instructions that we normally get with Nendoroids, but as you can see, this time they're in plastic, which is unusual, and that's because they come with a set of stickers for the cola bottle that she has. I guess they gave you a couple of extra and that, you know, stickers are tend to like kind of peel up after a while. So it's cool that they kind of separated it at, separated it so that it wouldn't do that while it was in the box. And here we have Umaru herself, guys. Yep, you can see the here's the cola bottle here, the chips. Um, here's her sitting down portion, uh, the PSP and her snacks up top. And whoa. Wow, lately all we've been seeing is maybe one, maybe two extra face plates. Umaro comes with four. Yep, four extra face plates showing off her expressions. And on the back here, we can see the extra arms she comes with. So yeah, she comes with a lot, a lot. The only disappointing thing I've heard, because people kind of complain about, is that um, the bear portion is part of her face plate. So there's no way that she cannot have the bear blanket on but I don't care because to me that makes the character and that makes her cute but for those who might be a little iffy about that um no she can't she's just not a standalone without the blanket you would have to have both parts but all yeah, right and kidding. here we have the standard um arm for the nendoroid base which we've seen like a hundred times by now yep short and stubby Here we have uh, the extra neck joint that comes with the Nendoroids these days, with the newer ones. Here we have the standard Nendoroid base that, again, we've seen about a hundred times by now. So, yeah, nothing special about it. 
I'm trying to open this carefully because so many tiny pieces I don't want them shooting out everywhere but just to quickly go over the face plates here we have like extremely happy expression uh, you can see her eyes are like squeezed so tight because she's smiling so wide um, really cute she I love the little pink circles on her cheeks adorable here's her devious expression and yeah she looks like she's up to no good very evil yep like an evil genius kind of a thing here's her excited expression when she's like ah oh, look at the stars in her eyes really cute too I really love this one and finally we have her tantrum crying face when she's just like upset and rolling around on the floor still cute <laughs> for a crying face okay quickly here's just um Omaro's favorite bag of chips that she's always eating it always has on hand I think I have this upside down I can't really tell because the camera won't really focus correctly but yeah so here her crisp and here's her soda bottle I just have to put the sticker on um, as you can see they did it nicely I like the shape and it's with like this transparent brown plastic so yeah it really does look like a coca-cola bottle really cute has a tiny hole in the side I guess that's the way she holds it in her hand so yeah and just adorable. a few of her other snacks since she really can't grip them as you can see um Oh, this won't really focus at all. I can't remember what these are called. I'm sure all of you have seen them. They're like little cones and they're dipped in chocolate on the tips. I don't know why it won't focus. But yeah, I'm pretty sure many of you guys, if you're familiar with Japanese candy, you've seen these. If only I could remember their name right now. Um, Here's a little pudding cup or flan. It looks like flan, um, which is just hilarious. Look at all the detail to it and it's so tiny. It's so tiny that my camera won't even completely focus on it because it's so small. But yeah, really very cute. Like I said, she can not grip it. Um, she can't, but um, I guess you just kind of spread it around her as she does in the anime. But look at it compared to my fingernail. Yeah, that's how small it is. Um, also, I'm not sure what this is. Oh, I guess it's more like snacks. Yeah, I dropped it. I couldn't even hold it with one finger. This last little snack, I'm not sure what this is. Is this bacon? Is this a burrito? I don't know. I don't know. But it's still really cute. Really tiny also. And finally, here's her PSP. And you flip it around, you can see the screen. Really cool detail. Wow, Good Smart Company really impresses me with all the little things they add to their little figures. So, yep. And this go great because some of my other Nendoroids have PSPs also. So, yep, really cute. Okay, guys. And here we have Omara without all her plastic on. As you can see, she's her body is very tiny. She's very cute. Um, here's the space in between the teddy bear covering. And as you can see, here's the seam line as what I was saying that uh, she can't be without the blanket. Because her back, it doesn't come off her back. And the whole face plate this is the covering um so yeah so I mean for those who may be disappointed by that but for me I think she just looks adorable the way she is so I wouldn't have it any other way but yeah here it is you can see the bare face on top with the little bare ears and on the back she just looks like a great big peanut blob it's funny um well you guys can't tell but it's a little scratch right here where I just dropped her yeah I know I mean it's not too bad right yeah but where she's just so round it just rolls right out your hand so be careful of that but yeah other than that she's really cute I love her little happy face and she has a big smile and yeah so let's get to some poses okay guys first pose up and I gotta say it's amazing as predicted she's so cute it's adorable so just taking a look at this real quick what's the first thing you guys notice well yeah besides the cola and the chips well surprise as you can see she's standing on her own that's right I don't have to bother with the stupid base not that I even gave it a chance um, once you see that with the, the teddy bear and the roundness in the back it's actually pretty stable the way it is so yeah that's a plus right there I love that whenever a nendoroid can stand by itself I really really love that so yeah, here she is. As you can see, she's holding the cola in her hand and I finally managed to put on a sticker. It's only slightly crooked this time, so I'm doing well. 
the potato chips. Uh, I love this pose. However, the potato chips does not latch onto her hand as the cola does. The cola has a hole for the peg to fit into. The chips, you kind of just lay it in between her arm and her stomach. So mm, it's not quite stable. When, as soon as you start to move her around, the chips kind of fall out. So yeah, really cute pose though. I guess if you were planning to put her in a stable spot and not touch her, this pose will be fine. Um, but for me, I tend to bump things a lot so I can see the little bag of potato chips falling everywhere. But yeah, she's really adorable, guys. Already A+. Plus. That was like the only problem I noticed. I mean, there may be a problem with the peg in the back. I don't know. I haven't tried it yet. But so far, who cares about that? She's so cute. So yep, here she is from the side. From this front part. Adorable. She sits like she's ready to sit down and have her snacks. Okay, guys, real quick, I wanted to show you. This is what I was talking about when I said that in order to change a faceplate, you would have to peel the entire front piece off. So as you can see, it's a ton of pegs and you switch the faceplate out from there. But also, I forgot to mention in the last pose, one of the annoying things I did notice is that when you're changing the arms, it's kind of best to do it without the top on because they do kind of bump into this piece of the blanket when you're trying to especially like with the bent arms trying to put the peg into the socket so it just might be easier to change it with the front piece off also want to notice when her legs uh, but also like I said I didn't notice the first time when I showed you guys an underwear but you can see the joints on her legs are different normally it's like the ball joint and then a longer piece but where her legs are so stubby they just have this simple little ball peg there and Normally the legs separate from the torso um, as like the waist piece, but this one doesn't. So you have to take each leg out individually and then that's how you insert the sitting legs. I was wondering why they had these two clear pegs like this and that's why they kind of just fit into where these little tiny leg pieces come out of. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. Okay guys, next pose up and as we can see, Umaru is getting ready to just chow down on all her snacks straight after school. As you can see, she has an excited expression on her face because nothing makes her happier than having all her snacks, especially her cola. But just like with the last pose, as you can see, she's sitting on her own. Also, there's one slight other little detail I wonder if you guys notice. Do you? I'll give you another second. Let me turn it to the side and let you see if you get it. If you didn't, as you can see, that's right. The top to the cola is removed. That's because here's the little cap here. Let me see if I can get it without messing it up. Oh, it fell down. Oh, okay, here it is. As you can see, the cap has a tiny peg on it that fits right into the cola bottle. And so you can see the hole inside. So yeah, that's so cool. Such a cool little detail that they didn't have to include, but they did. That really speaks for the character. So yeah, it looks like she's really ready, ready to just chug straight from the bottle and while she um, chucks down on her snacks. So yeah, cool little detail, cool pose. She looks awesome. I love this one too. But I can just imagine all these little extra snack pieces just like all rolling around all over my room. So I doubt this one will fully go on my shelf just because so much is already on there. But yeah, I really do love this one. It's really cool, really cute. And again, I love that she can sit down by herself without the need for me to mess around with the base. So... Yep, here she is. Okay, guys. Unfortunately, Umaru's Onichan has uh, forbidding her to have snacks before dinner. So now she is in full-on tantrum mode. And this pose is just perfect for that. As you can see, just a little shake of your finger and she's like she's rolling around on the floor. It's really cool. Um, as you can see, she's wearing the crying face. And it really fits this. You can see the way her mouth is all wiggled and the tears coming out. And yeah, she's just screaming and crying and begging her brother to do what she wants to do. Which is happens most episodes of the show. So yeah, really cute. Even though she's crying and I typically don't like crying faces. She's adorable. But yeah, she's still a brat. And again, yep. Fits her perfectly. I love that. Just this one little shape of the figure totally adds to the action and to the faceplate. Really cool. Really love that one. And again, there she is by herself. Okay, guys. Next pose. And as you can see, 
Omaro's brother has allowed her to play her video game, so she is no longer throwing a tantrum. Now, this is a very cute pose, but I'm sure you, by now you can see what the issue with with it that I have. Um, for some reason, like I just need the arm, the hands to be a little bit tighter because the PSP actually does not fit in them. They slide like right through; it won't hold it at all. The only way I was able to get it this good. Um, to show it on film was that I as you can see I have a piece of sticky tape on the back of it to kind of grip in her hands so it won't drop through but it's a really cute pose but unfortunately I won't be able to use it on my shelf because no it does not want to hold the PSP at all and it's such a slight difference like if it was just just a, not even a millimeter of space over everything would be fine um but unfortunately that's just not happening so yeah um, so here was a cute pose but this is the only time we'll really get to see it because this is I'm not gonna have like the tape on the shelf um, for her to constantly hold it worrying that it's gonna fall away so yeah here it is really cute though wish it was okay, better just a quick update um, I removed the tape and if you squeeze like kind of like squeeze her hands together squeeze her arms together and really stick the PSP in her hand you can get it get her to hold it a little bit um right now it's fine but if I shake it too hard already you can kind of see it's popping up on this side that any kind of too sudden of a move and it's gonna fall out but like I said at least I am getting her to hold it a little bit so for those of you who don't worry too much if it's on your shelf um you may still be able to use this pose if yours is like mine you know yours might be perfect but mine just has that little issue of being slightly loose as you can see with the one hand here but yeah so far without the tape she's still holding it and I'm switching this around and she's doing pretty good doing pretty good doing pretty good yeah yeah okay so yeah maybe it might be an option I do really like this pose with the PSP especially since you know I have Senna and Yazora Nendoroids from um, Haganai that they're on my shelf pose with them playing the PSP also so it would have been great to have her pose that way also um still that said I'm still not sure what pose I will leave her in but I'm glad to see that you know if I work tweak it a little bit I can get it to work yep she's still holding it but she's gonna fall yeah ah see she has it so yeah that can work Okay guys, next pose up and as we can see Umaru has her devious face like she's plotting something. Maybe to get back at her brother for not giving her exactly what she wanted. Who knows? But yeah, she looks really cute like a, like a little evil genius and her character is supposed to be really smart even though she doesn't act like it all the time. But yeah, as you can see her arms are folded and for once I'm using the base. Not because she needs it, she still doesn't, but I figure since I'm doing a review, I might as well review everything. And as far as how the arm has gone into the back and she sits on the base, everything was pretty fine. It was pretty easy. Gave me no trouble with that as I have with a lot of other Nendoroids. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, other than that, yeah, I really like this pose. It's really cute. It's not my favorite of the group. Um, Maybe because she's just standing there like that. I don't know. It's not my favorite, but I do. It is really cute. And uh, I love how her little chibi legs are back. See that? She looks adorable. So, yeah, guys. Okay, guys. And that is it. Here we are on the final pose. And as you can see, Umaru is extremely excited to be done as well. I guess she really wants to go back to her snacks. So, yeah. She looks adorable here, just as she does with every other pose she's been in. So, Final thoughts on this Nendoroid. Guys, I love this one. She's so cute. I really I didn't really have many problems with her, just besides, you know, the few gripping um problems. But other than that, everything has been smooth, really smooth. This unboxing went very fast for me. It's been something that's taken me like an hour to do. Um I just love everything about her. She's cute, she's funny, she'll look great on my shelf, she's unique with the way she's shaped. Everything about her is just awesome. I love it. I still can't make up my mind which pose I will leave her in on my shelf. So I'll have to go through a bit of that. Probably the one with the cola and the chips, maybe. But still, yep, she's really cute. So my final score in this one, I would love to have given this one a 10. Because she's so close, guys. So close. But because I had the slight issue with her gripping the PSP. And a slight, tiny 
thing of her with the bag falling, I'm going to have to give this a 9.5. Technically, I can give it a 9 because of those two issues, like this one alone. But because I was able to kind of fix that a bit, I've upped that to a 0.5. So, yeah, 9.5 is a final score for this Nendoroid. Nearly perfect. So, yeah, no regrets for buying this one. She comes with a ton of face plates and all her little mini accessories. It's totally worth it. And getting her off of Ami Ami, I didn't really pay much at all. And now that she's back up for re-release, you don't have to pay much at all for her either. So yeah, that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.